While Varanasi is famous for its ghats and streets, the city is also a treasure chest filled with beautiful monuments. One such place is the tomb of Lal Khan, which is located near the Malvia Bridge right on the backside of the Khidkiya Ghat or Namo Ghat. The tomb is located inside the dismantled old Rajkhat fort and remains hidden from the public sight. The location and the elevation of the tomb makes it impossible to be spotted from the carts and as a result not many people visit this place. On the left side is an excavated site of Archaeological Survey of India. These are the remains of an ancient settlement that dates back to the 1st to 3rd century. The tomb looked magnificent with the backdrop of the glittering Ganga and Malvia bridge. The principal mausoleum boasts stunning stonework and the Mughal influence can be seen in its architecture, stonework and dome. Right behind the tomb there is another newly constructed ghat that is known as Khidkiya Ghat or Namo Ghat. This ghat is approximately 6 kilometers away from Kan railway station. This ghat is a newly constructed ghat so it is very clean, very well maintained and very peaceful. If you want some peace then my recommendation will be to go there in morning. This ghat is one of my favorite ghats from Varanasi. A must visit place in Varanasi, highly recommended. Then I went to Bharat Mata Mandir which is only 1 km from Kant railway station. This mandir is tribute to every freedom fighter who actively participated in the formation of independent India. The most interesting thing about this temple is that this temple doesn't have any statue or idols of god and goddesses. In the center of the building, there is a demonstration of an undivided map of India consisting of Pakistan, Afghanistan along with Balochistan, Bangladesh and Myanmar prior known as Burma and Sri Lanka. There is no entry fee. Interested people can visit the temple between 9.30 am to 8 pm. After that, we went to visit New Vishwanath Temple in BHU which is approximately 10 km from Kant area. As we were very hungry, so we decided to have something first. We had masala dosa in Om Cafe which was for 55 rupees for one dosa. There are many outlets serving different options and which are also fairly priced. There are so many interesting facts about this new Vishwanath temple. If you get stunned by the fact that the construction of Taj Mahal took an approximate time of 20 years, you will be certainly be awestruck by how long it took to build new Vishwanath temple. To your surprise, the building of this marvelous temple commenced in the year 1931 and was completed in year 1966, thereby taking a long time of 35 years. Isn't it surprising? Certainly it is. The temple was built by Billa Construction Group and hence it is also sometimes known as Billa Temple. This temple has the tallest temple tower on the planet. Total height of the temple is more than 250 feet and hence it is also considered as an architectural masterpiece. The temple is closed for 1 hour from 12 pm to 1 pm. Bhagavad Gita can be found in every temple across the globe, but how many of us have seen it inscribed on the walls of the temples? If you haven't, then you must plan a trip to New Vishwanath Temple in Varanasi. All the verses related to Bhagavad Gita can be found on the walls of the temple. After exploring this architectural masterpiece, it was time to taste Banaras ki lassi. We went to Pehelwan lassi which is at a walking distance from BHU. 
वन कुल्हड़ ऑफ लस्सी वॉज फॉर फिफ्टी रुपीज देर आर मल्टीपल शॉप्स नेम्ड पहलवान सो आई डोंट नो विच इज द रियल वन बट वॉट एवर वी हैड इट वॉज रियली गुड दे ऑल्सो हैड मलाइयो विच वॉज ऑल्सो फॉर फिफ्टी रुपीज बट वी वर फुल सो वी डेंट हैड इट आफ्टर दैट वी वेंट टू ट्राई सम बनारसी पान केशव तांबुल भंडार इज ओनली टू मिनट्स वॉक फ्रॉम पहलवान लस्सी and i must say khai ke paan banaras wala not only opened my band the kolkata la but whole ent section it was so thanda that i could feel that cooling effect inside my body must try thing when in banaras one meetha paan is for 25 rupees Then we were on our way to Assi Ghat. Banaras should also be famous for its traffic. Assi Ghat is only three kilometers away from BHU. ऐसा कहा जाता है माँ गंगा ने अपनी धारा से जिसे सवारा है बड़ा ही खूबसूरत असी घाट का किनारा है तो चलो देखते हैं कैसा है असी घाट का किनारा सुबह ए बनारस मॉर्निंग आरती इज परफॉर्म्ड एवरी डे एट असी घाट फ्रॉम 5 ए एम टू 6 एम ऑन संडे मॉर्निंग द इवेंट इज फॉलोड बाय अ फ्री सेशन ऑफ योगा दैट एनी वन कैन अटेंड If you are visiting Varanasi for the first time then Subha a Banaras should be in your list. I missed it somehow but maybe next time. Assi Ghat if seen as a fabric of time you will find it divided into slots by age. As the sun starts rising the ghat is flocked by middle and old age people to take a morning dip and perform rituals. In the afternoon it becomes deserted and you will find old people taking a nap under the shades as the sun goes down youngsters take over the place at night all these slots merge into one and you will find everyone at assi ghat cherishing life eating snacks having tea and witnessing evening aarti together just like one big family assi ghat is nothing like any other ghat of varanasi more than just serving as a symbolic place to the confluence of two rivers it is also a confluence of generations cultures and beliefs you will find groups of students gossiping playing music practicing arts and couples spending quality time it won't be wrong to say that assi is the place where kashi chills these days After exploring for a while we went to Vatika cafe which is right on Assi Ghat We ordered Vatika special pizza which was for 450 rupees I will not say that it was the best pizza I had but definitely it was not bad. As they are very famous for their apple pie so we decided to have one. And trust me it was amazing. I have never tried anything like this and it is highly recommended. If you are visiting Varanasi then you should visit Assi Ghat at least once it is a beautiful place to observe life culture rituals and all the major aspects of changing kashi If Delhi is the capital of India then Varanasi can be called as the spiritual capital of our country In fact it is believed that if anyone died in kashi their soul goes to heaven and there will be no rebirth If one cannot die in kashi at least their human body if cremated in holy place can make the soul obtain salvation